Hey everybody, Stabby the Portal Guy with OmegaBit.com here to show you a couple of basics about LifeRay Portal. LifeRay is a great place to build a website for your business or club or community or to share information pretty much of any sort publicly or privately. Now when you start with LifeRay it's a pretty much a blank canvas. Right now uh, I've just got a login portlet on the page which comes by default and a little bit of information about the version we're running. Um, I'm going to log in as an administrator in just a sec here, but I wanted to point out that one of the things LifeRay does by default is lets folks self-register. Now, if I registered as just a normal user, I would, wouldn't have access to much except my own areas inside the portal, and we're going to take a look at that. Uh, but as an administrator, I have all kinds of control, and including the layout to the guest community, which is basically where we started. So. This default community is is uh, the right place for, for someone to start if they're going to build a public facing website and they want folks to land here by default. And one of the things that you'll notice is I have control to be able to do things like relocate portlets on the page, for example, and uh, turn them on and off and get to controls. And we're going to talk more about that in the future. But uh, one of the places I wanted to point out is this menu in the upper right. And this is sort of the, the, the standard way that LifeRay themes expose access to the behind, well, really to a lot of points of interest inside the portal, but in particular, uh, one behind the scenes area called the control panel, which we're going to look at in a minute. It also has a shortcut to an area where I can manage my profile and uh, a couple of other useful links. One of the uh, ones that is interesting as an administrator is this toggle edit controls and this lets me turn on and off basically the uh, the little controls that we're showing up on these portlets here. That can be useful if I log in as an administrator a lot but don't want to look at all the extra uh, noise that's on the page. We're going to leave this stuff on for right now and um, if I jump to my account uh, it's really a shortcut to uh, the first page in the control panel. So this is the same as if I had chosen the control panel link, but it takes me specifically to an area that lets me set up my screen name, my email address, a bunch of other useful information. Uh, and um, one of the things that's interesting is LifeRay's got great support for uh, hooks into things like OpenID. If you have a login to uh, a Yahoo open ID account. It can uh, be a way that you can log in your your sites. Um, they've also got support built in for social and if you if I were to list my accounts here then when I start to post on these social sites that information is going to percolate up in a certain portlets in LifeRay. So it's just a really neat way to sort of cross pollinate information across the site here. Um, one of the other points of interest in the portal is uh, on the left side here if you're an administrator you have uh, control of this settings link and this is an important area because it lets you set the title for the site it also set, lets you set the default virtual host name listener and uh, the default mail domain that users would be associated with if, if the one wasn't set for them when their accounts created the other thing uh, that's important to understand is that under display settings it lets me uh, set up the logo for the theme in my portal and we're going to talk more about how you can customize the look and feel of the portal um, in another segment but uh, one other point of inter interest that's very important is under authentication here uh, I have the ability to turn on and off some rules including whether or not users can create accounts and um, it's a good idea if you don't want people to be able to self-register in the portal to go ahead and uh, click on that allow strangers to create accounts turn that off um, you might want to turn off this one as well, which means that users can't register. Not only can they not create accounts, but they certainly can't create accounts under the mail domain that's associated with this site. That could be useful. Um, and if I were to hit save, then I basically uh, set the portal up so that only um, users that I add to the system can get in. So that's sort of the basics uh, of the portal. And uh, please join us. We'd like to spend some more time with you to talk about how you can use portal life rate portal to do some um, some pretty fantastic things to build a website in, in almost no time and we'd love for you to join us to to host at omegabit.com so please give us a call or visit us at www.omegabit.com